Both Diablo and Mephisto, upon their defeat, were successfully captured inside of Soul Stones. However, with Bale, that was not the case. Bale's essence was instead imprisoned within a Soul Stone and within the heart of a Herodic mage named Tal Rasha. So, who exactly is Tal Rasha? Why did he volunteer to be sacrificed to contain Bale? And frankly, why did Bale need to be contained within a human in the first place? In this video, I'll give you the answers to all those points and more. Before we begin, this is going to be the third video covering the origins of the prime evils in Sanctuary. For information about how Diablo and Mephisto ended up where they were leading to the events of the Diablo games, make sure to check out these videos. Jumping right in, during the Dark Exile when the Prime Evils were pushed out of hell by the Lesser Evils, Bale was the second one to be entrapped. The Haradrim, a group of incredibly powerful sorcerers, chased down the Prime Evils and they found Bale in Luca Lane. Not wanting to confront him there and risk the destruction of the city and the lives of many innocents, the Haradrim, in this case specifically Talrashan, Zoltan Kool, waited for Bail to leave the city of Luca Lane and into the sands of the desert Aranach, where we ventured in Diablo 2. Now, Talrasha was the one who rushed ahead and by his lonesome confronted Bale before Zoltan Kool was able to catch up with support. During the initial battle with Bale, and right before he was defeated, Bale managed to shatter the Soul Stone and escape. At this point, Talrasha teleported after him and instructed Kool to lead the Haradrim into the valley below, where Talrasha and Bale were locked in mortal combat. At last, Bale was defeated, and Talrasha and Kool went to subdue him. Unfortunately, due to the Soul Stone's destruction, they had to use only a chunk of it to be able to imprison Bale. And even even then, it would only hold him temporarily. At this point, Talrasha was frustrated, and Talrasha suggested that they just get another soul stone. Cool, however, being the expert of soul stones in the Haradrim, reminded Talrasha that the only way to make a soul stone is to use a piece of the world stone, and the only weapon powerful enough to cleave the world stone is the weapon of an archangel, which in this case was Tyrael's. To add to this, Zoltan Kool mentioned that it would take too long to go to Mount Ariat and secure a world stone before Bale would escape once more. Kool, however, knew that the human heart could help supplement the soul stone in containing the essence of a demon. And this is part of the knowledge that Zoltan Kool would later build upon to form the black soul stone, which he wanted to use to transform himself into the ultimate Nephilim. However, that's a topic for another video. Now, upon receiving this information, Tal Rasha, without batting an eye, volunteered himself to be the one to imprison Bale. At this point, Tyrael had appeared and led the Haradrim to an old burial chamber at the farthest and most desolate reaches of the Desert of Aranach. Within this chamber, a binding stone with runes of containment was built, and Tal Rasha ordered his brethren to chain him to it. Before fulfilling this request, Zoltan Kool asked Tal Rasha three different times if he was sure about the sacrifice he was about to make. The first time was when Tyrael was leading them through the subterranean tunnels to this burial chamber. The second time was when they began to shape the binding stones and forge the chains. And the third time was when all that work was finished. But Talrasha answered very confidently at every single one of those times. And his logic was, it was better that he suffer for all eternity battling with Baal than the millions of innocents that would suffer in his stead if Baal was released. Talrasha at that point, while being bound with the manacles closing in on his wrists, made a prayer to the light. And as he opened his eyes, Tyrael was there holding the soul stone. And Talrasha told him that he was ready. As the Haradrim looked on in sorrow, Tyrael took the large chunk of the soul stone that Bale was imprisoned in and stabbed it directly into Talrasha's heart, sealing his fate for all eternity. The pain was absolutely excruciating, and part of Talrasha wanted to scream and call out for the others to help him. 
He bit his tongue until his mouth was full of blood and his body was shaking and rattling in the chain, the presence of Baal already affecting him. With sorrow, the Haradrum and Tyriel sealed the chamber forever and departed. So in between that time that Talrasha originally sacrificed himself to imprison Baal and the events of Diablo 2, Talrasha battled with Baal trying to control his mind for years, if not centuries, non-stop without rest. It was when Talrasha's physical strength began to wither due to hunger and thirst that Baal with all his strength tried to wrestle control of Talrasha's mind. Ways that he did this, which similar to what nayrel has been going to wielding Mephisto Soulstone, was introducing very realistic visions into the mind of Talrasha. Examples of different visions was having Talrasha play out the moment that Zolt and Kul and Talrasha imprisoned Bale in that Soulstone fragment, and then instead of him confidently offering himself up, Talrasha would show fear and hesitation. At first, Talrasha was easily able to tell when he was experiencing an illusion by Bale, but each and every time one of these illusions came up, Bale took his time and took notes on the weaknesses of Tal Rasha's mind and how each illusion had a little bit more of an impact than the one before, crafting more and more powerful ones until eventually wrestling complete control of Tal Rasha and taking over his body completely. It was at this point that the Dark Wanderer, with his companion, Marius, was able to discover the tomb of Talrasha and attempt to free Baal. At this point, as you saw in Diablo 2, Tyriel interfered and struggled in battle with the Dark Wanderer when, unfortunately, Marius became susceptible to Baal's influence and freed his soul stone himself. Baal as Talrasha and the Dark Wanderer, who is Diablo controlling Aiden, his vessel, marched to the east into the Traven Call, awakened Mephisto, where all three of them were able to completely regenerate into their natural form as their prime evil selves. Baal, being the most destructive of the three, planned to make all of Sanctuary as part of his thrall. And to do so, he laid waste to the barbarian fortification of Sesheron, made a deal with the last remaining elder, Nihlathak, of the last remaining barbarian stronghold, Paragath, to leave it alone in exchange for Baal receiving a relic that allowed him to surpass battling the ancients that were guarding the world stone. As such, Baal was able to access the world stone undeterred and corrupted it. This corruption eventually would tune humanity to become slaves to their demonic energy, because remember, humans and Nephilim are half demon and half angel, so the demonic self would amplify, overcome humanity, and turn them into hellspawn, which would then be used against the heavens in the eternal conflict. If you're interested in watching along the battle between Baal and the Haradrum, Zoltan Kul and Talrasha, then make sure to follow along my stream as we play Diablo Immortal and experience the lore that that game has to offer. That's it for this video, guys. If you have a passion for Diablo lore and want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe like and give a comment with your thoughts. Thanks for watching.